here. Um, gonna be com uh, not commentating. Gonna be kind of analyzing a video of Shroomed um, playing versus Ices. This is really a tournament that kind of sticks out to me. Um, a Shroomed as a player obviously sticks out to me too. He's one of my like top five, probably favorite players. Uh, the way he plays neutral is just. He just legitimately just outplays you in neutral and does it like his own way. It's so sick. Um, and I think he really he really kind of shines in matchups like Peach against Peach and Ice Climbers and um, a lot of the slower characters he really shines against. I feel like his neutral is just really hard to get kind of like a beat on. And he does it really well here. Um, because his neutral is so tricky and he's like kind of creative... He's able to kind of um, just kind of fuck up ice climbers because ice climbers, if you, pl I mean, if they play too linear, they get really, really destroyed. And ice Cl and uh, Shroom's really good on picking up on that. Um, so this is gonna be really uh, fun for me to watch again. I did this. I've always, I've obviously seen it a couple times, but um, watch it again is always gonna be fun. I did. I do have some notes here about what Shroom does well in this matchup, and especially against ice climbers, what's important to keep in mind here. Um, just right off the bat, um, the full jump rising fair as an approach, um, is a pretty decent option because ice climbers, when they jump after you, um, with an up air, it's not the very, it's not the most safe thing for them to do. Um, it's a commitment for them on their part. And if they don't get like a clean follow up, um, on full jumps, they can get hit out of their full jump because obviously one ice climber, um, is lagging behind the other and they can't block in the air, etc. So, uh, look out for that. Um, also, look at how he uh, mixes up his movement um, after the full jump. Whether he double jumps back, whether he lands, uh, whether he goes on the platform, that's important. Um, also, look for how quickly he's able to get grabs and then immediately throw. I think that's important. Um, and then uh, I have a whole bunch of other notes here. But generally, what a lot of Shroom's game plan comes down to is a lot of, like, really basic space control with empty jump and neutral and then mixing that up with either down tilts fair etc and um just him being tricky in that one kind of interaction where he's full jumping kind of like wave dash distance away um it just gives him a really good a really good base about you know where he wants to place his neutral um he doesn't dash dance as much as you know as some Mars might do in this matchup so keep an eye, keep an eye out for that um and then also look at his DI and how he how he handles straight hits. I think that's important. Keep in mind, Shroom at this point has already oh, beaten cool. Nintendo 3-0. So um, he's warm in the IC's matchup. And I think he 3-0's chewed out in this tournament as well. So that's pretty impressive, right? Basically because, I mean, he's pretty safe. Because if it hits him on the platform, they can't wave dash out and grab. But I think in time, um, they would have had to fall down the platform and then go up to grab him. So I think that's a really interesting, like... Maybe I don't know if that was what he was thinking during the counter pick option, but that's kind of cool that he thought about that. Um, the low platform is giving him kind of, uh, you know, more chances to get tipper forward smashes where sometimes you can't always get the ice climbers onto like the battlefield platforms and stuff like that. So it's really cool. Ooh, yeah. So also look out for these smash DIs when he gets hit by the jab. So look at that. Look how crazy that is. So um, shroomed. He's always aware of stray hits and the grabs in this matchup. Um, so you're going to see him do a lot of SDI up and, and smashing double jump out of hit stun. Uh, that's going to be really important because even though you could potentially crouch cancel or roll or spot dodge, it's really usually not worth, worth the risk. Um, you kind of take this punish because if they do get your double jump or whatever, it's not the end of the world. It's not the ass climbers can really fo follow up on on uh, getting your double jump as Marth that easily. So um, just look out for that. So SGI up out of straight hits and matching double jumps. So. Good mash. Really good patience. See how he opens them up this fair. Uh, I like that. Jumps over the um, icicles. And then once again, those platforms helping him out, right? Um, that probably messed up Chu a little bit. So, Chu was able to get a tipper. 
or uh, yeah, which is fair. On platforms on this stage, they're always randomized. Uh -huh. Yeah, there's no pattern. Yes. Oh, a little bit late on that down tilt. That grab. Oh, okay, a little tech fluff right there from Cool. So yeah. Could so Shrim's kind of daring. Oh, okay, a he's right he's daring um, Q to commit from mid range right now. So he's using this. Using this jump right here, probably kind of like mid stage ish right there, um, to kind of check to see if Chu's gonna come in or out. And he look how lo long he takes to look at where Chu's positioning is. So let's, so this is gonna be a common option. Shroom uses his entire short hop animation. Look, he uses this entire short hop animation to kind of see where Chu is. He doesn't aerial early. And he's using the entire drift. Covers his landing with forward air. He's choosing out of range. And so Chu has to um, kind of make a choice here about what he wants to do here. Um, and then it's kind of a mix up here because uh, Shroom could either down tilt um, or, you know, throw another hitbox. But um, keeping this distance from Ice Climbers is actually really. And neutral, it's not a terrible idea if you know how to keep yourself safe. You mix it up from this range. So um, you're going to see Shroom mix up a lot from this range, whether it's forward air, empty jump, uh, down tilt, whatever. So this time, he just blocks, right there, and he gets thrown. So yeah, quick mana kill. All right, let's see. Uh, I'm loving the DI right here from Chuda. He knows that uh, the best way to escape ah, uh, nice. man, the momentum. Loving the DI right here from Chuda. He knows that... Uh, the best way Air jab, yeah, just kind of keeping him out. Basic stuff, so good yeah, stuff. Broken stock from Shroom. And let's see what it uses in invincibility here. Goes on top platform, knows Ice Climbers has to, you know, if you go on the platform, they have to kind of read you going on the platform. And um, Shroom just didn't do that, so. Real good patience here from Shroom. Look at that. Just waiting on the top platform, right? And then seeing where he can get a good fair in. A lot of people, a lot of Marths, what they do here is they run off fair from this range. Um, and that's just terrible. You never really want to fall down with fair against Ice Climbers. Um, unless, like, you know that Nana's out of, out of sync. And they can't get, like, a CC grab or, like, a whiff punish. So... Um, look how patient he is on these platforms, knowing, uh, picking his spots well. Because he knows, basically, Ice Climbers has to make a hard commit to hit him off this platform. So, um, he knows that, so he waits. And even if, um... Right? So there's the hard commit when Marth is on the platform. And he just moves out of the way and gets a good, like, forwarder on shield. Um, tries to get their ending lag, but it didn't work out. But they aren't, they aren't facing um, Marth, so he's not... He's not He's not in danger of getting shield grab. So, um, and also look out for Chu should light shielding a lot. He does this a lot versus Marth. Basically, um, what light shielding does for ice climbers in this matchup is it keeps him out of the down tilt, down tilt pressure, um, and it, it's able to it pushes them away so they're able to kind of um, get out from Marth's follow up like down tilt and stuff like that. Perfect pivot. Yeah. So see how like the first forward air pushed him away, and then he didn't get shield stabbed by down tilt. So look for that light shield. Now look at him again, patient on the platforms, right? Basically, he knows Ice Climbers has to hard commit to hit Marth on the platforms, so he's just chilling there, right? There's the hard commit, and he doesn't get anything off it. See, that's the thing, those like Ice Climbers does don't get much off of straight hits on platforms here. So um, think about this: if Chu mess that up slightly or if uh Dewan maybe crouch canceled or sorry, shroomed maybe crouch canceled it and fared him he would have been in big trouble so it's a little risky but you have to keep Marth honest right you can't just let him cap cap the camp the platforms with a with a with a lead but at the same time you know it's it's a little risky for for ice climbers to make that hard commit there but good job Dewan, staying patient wow that was pretty risky right there from two yeah he was pretty close to throw that ice ball. Let's get back to that. Wow, that was pretty risky. Face forward air. Does a light shield there, gets pushed away. Um, sometimes you can grab Mars limb if you like. If you grab there. So I think Chu was trying to like grab a follow up, like a dash or, you know, sometimes down tilt, but that doesn't really work there. So misses that. 
Good jump over the icicle. Wow, that was pretty risky right there from Chris. And nice. He doesn't like push the issue here. After he gets a couple down tilts, look at this. Wow. One, two. And then like right there he realizes that true that he's in kind of like potential grab range for um for popo so instead shroom does a really smart thing here and he kind of resets the situation saying i have to stock lead you got to force you got to make that hard commit to try to, to, to beat me so good shit by shroom and it's going to be really important here shroom's use of full jump fair here wow that was pretty risky right there from shooting so instead of doing a short hop fair and then potentially getting like Shield grabbed or, or dash attacked or something. He does the full jump fair because um, it does hit ice climbers on the way up and it keeps him safe because now from here, from the full jump, you have so many options from this full jump. You have the land on the platform, you have the fall down, you have the double jump. Um, there's like so many options you can go from here. You go to this platform, you go to that platform, you can go down, you can go, you can double jump back. There's so many options here. So that full jump fair is just like. Really, really good from Dewan, from Shroomed. Look at that. Able to avoid. Ice climbers have to hard commit when you full jump fair. So that's really important for Marth. Um, and if they can't get like a good hit off the up air, they're in really vulnerable situations. So just using that full jump fair put Dewan in a better position than um, even if he, even that even though he missed the full jump fair, put him in a really good position because ice climbers now, like once again, what I said, they have to hard commit when they're on when Marth is on platforms. And he has a lead, so now they're desynced. Didn't get like a clean punish off that. He probably could have. Let's take a look at that. If you recognize that. Okay, so right there, maybe you could have back aired Nana or fall or shield drop fair. Oh, it looks like actually Nana's doing a floor there. That's interesting. Oh no, she's not. Okay, yeah, he probably could have punished here, but you know, it's whatever. Ooh. That was a really risky fair. But once again, what he's what what Shroom's doing that's really smart about this pick is, look, he's attacking when Ice Climbers, when one of them or both of them are on a platform. Um, when they're on the platform, it's very hard for them to get grabs. Uh, not very hard, but it's a little awkward, right? Because Nana's on the other side. He has time to mash. Um, they're usually not synced or are usually not in a position to get grabs. So um, I like it. And Whiff punishes that real well. And look how look how bad Ice Climber shields are. That's why you see Chu light shield a lot. Because look how and Popo's entire body is exposed. Look at this. <laughs> His chubby little body is exposed here. And so Dewan takes advantage of that. Good spacing from uh, Dewan, just using the border. Okay. So he full jumps out of here. Not bad. Gets clipped by the upper. Oh, wow. Dang. I don't know if Shroom did this on purpose, but... Because we saw the interaction before where Shroom um, forward aired the back of Popo's shield, and he didn't get shield grab, but he got... But he got shield grab there? Dang. That's crazy. Yeah, he just got his arm over it. I guess that's really smart from from Chu because he realizes that if he's just like if he's in the very very middle of um, Marth, he's probably gonna get a grab if he if he matches uh, Crash Cancel grab out of shield there. So good stuff. But you know, he had to work for that grab. So he knew that he could get the butt grab right yeah the butt grab is really good awareness from Chu. while they're behind you like you throw i like the grab there to be honest get the butt grab, right? from dewan yeah. the butt grab is when you grab somebody he hasn't represented it yet but you um that's it it's, and he gets out of there with the full jump for the grab yeah so if, i mean the grab does have a and if you do the short hop fair while they're behind what you, you like do you is what trim did he recognized the hit stun on it he recognized that he didn't hit popo so yeah. he double jumps away and he doesn't yeah, fall in there. Really, really, really sick. Yep. A lot of characters have it, like especially Peach. I mean, the grab does have like a small reverse hitbox. Yep. A lot of characters have it. Shield poked. Like, especially nice. Peach. She definitely has that. Falcon yeah. has a, an okay one. Yeah, yeah. Falcon has a good one too. 
Yeah, yeah. Clips him, comes down. Yeah, you can shield poke with Marth really well against Ice Climbers, so... Um, yeah. Keep that in mind. You'll see Shroom go for that. Because sometimes he... It's, like, hard to recognize kind of, like, Ice Climber shield health, like, really quickly. But I think Dewan's really good at it. Like, look at this. Because he realized he shield poked with this... Ice Climber shield's getting low. So he kind of realizes that it's not a terrible fair there. And then immediately smashy eyes the, the jab. See, yeah, yeah. he doesn't play around when he's in jab range. Look at this. He, like, mashes SDI away and jumps out. Oh, man, that was his opportunity right there. Oh. Let's see that. Oh, man, that was his opportunity right there. Oh, bro. Good, good, good mash. Good eye right there. Definitely want to mix it Using up. the platforms really well. Holds both uh, control sticks away and then holds L as well, so you'll buffer the yeah, roll right up. after. Oh, exactly. yep. tournament or um, Rick didn't work. So you don't really need to roll because you're not gonna hit the ground. They're gonna right. try to do that tech chase where it lands you right on the so good. So, you know, you don't really need to roll because you're not gonna hit the ground. Um, they're gonna right. try to do that. Yeah, so double jumping back is really, really underrated against ice climbers. Look how safe it puts him. Like, if they overextend at all here, he gets a free punish. So. The double jump back is really good. Where it lands you right on the ground and then goes in for the re jab, right? Okay. See, I love that. See, it's a different kind of ice climbers than what we saw before. Because uh, this kid, no matter what, will go to try to save Nana. Right. Because, you know, he's more, even though Chuga does wobble too, but, you know, he's more about, you know, natural instincts. He believes in his soul pole, you know, he, he puts in the work. Yeah, if you, if you saw the summit set, like, he was just down to rival pole, you know, he, he puts in the work. Yeah, so I think instead of down tilting here, you know, he's more about he decides to do with the, the go with the jump back, and I really like it. He realized that kind of Popo had like a decent sized shield. So right here, recognizing Ice Climber's shield health is really, really important. Like, look at this. After he gets that fair, Ice Climber's shield health is like pretty strong, and he's like close enough for a down tilt. So what he recognizes here is that um, it's it's... It's good not to panic in this situation. It's good because after you do this fair from this close, a lot of marts or, you know, people in general especially would try to pick a defensive option in this situation, but a lot of people don't realize that you actually have a lot more time than you think. Um, you can actually just jump back in the situation and they whiff grab. You don't have to down tilt. You don't have to sidestep. You don't have to roll. Uh, from, this from this spot on a deep fair, like deep, late fair, you have a lot of time with marts. So, um... And Chu didn't, like, CC grab this, obviously, because he's at 95. So, uh, really good awareness from Dewan. A lot of Marth here pick defensive options, but Dewan instead picks another jump, which I really like. And he drifts back. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. Down. Because he knows it just, a lot of the times, like, yeah, it's worth saving, but then a lot of the times it's not. And you definitely forfeit a lot of percent. Let's get the taper. I don't know if he got his jump back. And then... Sometimes if they're good enough, especially when you saw the set with uh, Crush, yeah. they're gonna just KO him anyway. Oh man, not looking too good right here for Shroom because he's. Oh, I think that was an accidental roll. I'm not sure. Woo! Yep. Air dodge, Great air dodge. Air dodge yep. Yep. Threaten the ledge with up air and then air dodge right after. Yep. Yep. Some down speed. Ooh. Oh, a lot of it is too eager right there on the edge guard. Okay. Nice. And so one thing to keep in mind is that late Nair against Ices is actually really, really good. Um, it's very hard for them to deal with. Um, and it's better than down tilt spam, to be honest. Um, the thing is about down tilt is you actually stick out your hand when you down tilt with Mart. Um, and sometimes, for whatever reason, Ice Climbers can grab your down tilt when they do that. So uh, it's just got to be careful because if you down tilt too much, it's and especially if it's not the tipper down tilt, it can get CC grabbed, um, and they can grab like the the ending animation or even like the beginning animation of the down tilt. Sometimes um, it's wacky like that. So um, a nice thing to do instead of the down tilt right there is just nair up close because basically it's really hard crouch cancel if you hit two hits. Um, you have a lot of drift with nair, so you can drift back uh, with it. And it's way better than down tilt spam usually. So 
Uh, that's a really, really good mix up by Dewan. Um, yeah, that's what he, that's what he should have done in the first place. Like, that's how you cover the option of the air dodge. Ooh, oh, this wow. jumps into oh, that. What the heck? Oh my god. No. Yeah, this should be it right here. Oh. Huh, pretty weird right there. The, the super tech would be to, like... <laughs> Causing a platform, full jump fair, keep himself safe. Yeah, yeah. Just daring him to hard commit there. Ooh, Drew with the sick whiff punish on the down tilt. And this is why it's important to mix it up, right? Because usually Ice Climbers, unfortunately, they have to do hard kind of reads to get um, grabs in this situation. So look at this. Really, really nice. So this is kind of a trick that Ice Climbers use when they're not sure about what the opponent's going to do, but they're really going to be in a certain area. But Drew in this situation kind of knew that Dewan was going to be somewhere in this general vicinity, so instead of like doing a hard yeah. whiff punish, he goes for Blizzard, which covers a certain amount of area here. So, and right now it's up to Dewan to smash you out of the hell out of this Blizzard. But once again, he's holding down, right? So he's not going to have a lot of time. He's going to be grounded. And Chu catches the jump because he reads the you know the jump out, obviously. Oh, what a read after the Blizzard! A lot of people will jump, so he just had that up air ready. Nice jump back. Dewan using these platforms beautifully. Those ice climbers that don't have a really good angle here, you know? And then mixes it up by going in. Great patience right here. Boom. The approaching blizzard. Yep. Look at that. That's exactly what I was talking about. That full Great jump uh, right fair right here. Mm -hmm. So, so good. Right here. Hits both ice climber shields. They can't shield grab it. That's amazing right there. Um, yeah, so this full jump fair hits both ice climber shields on the way up, and then the punish they get off it isn't that good. So look at this. Let's see what kind of punish he gets here. Let's see what kind of punish he gets. He doesn't really get anything, right? He gets pushed back too far. Um, also, uh, Marth has the option of going onto this pl platform after the full jump fair. Um, it's just a really, really awkward situation for Ice Climbers to punish. Because if they chase with up air, it's not a guaranteed like punish. Um, especially depending on where the March drifts or SDIs the up airs. He can just mash out fair and uh, really fuck Ice Climbers up. So. Yeah, it works really well versus Mark. If you Another full jump fair. So he saw Chu kind of turn around. Yeah, so he, really he was looking well for that same fair. Um, but this is the same kind of fair that he got shield grabbed earlier with. And Chu just kind of opts for back air instead of grab there. Which is probably the safer option because um, I think Nana was desynced or something. I don't know. Eh, back air grab, same thing. Right there. Off of that back air. Yup, light shield and miss. Man, that's rough. It's funny because Nana was just waiting there. So if he landed on stage, he could have died. Yep. <laughs> Ooh, just chilling. And... Tip. Ooh, double tip. Nana with the no DI. Oh, Ooh, no. triple tip. <laughs> yeah, if you use grab as like a mix up for size climbers and, and quickly tipper, he cuts he kinda catches them off guards at times. So yep, you do the it's really good. Yep. That's what you need. Alright, so he has to watch out. Dewan's okay with being on that platform up there. Ice climbers can't really punish. Beautiful full jump fair. Slide. That retreating forward is so good on shield. Yeah, it's really good. And down tilt is obviously super amazing as well. Mm -hmm. Ooh, great Look at that presence of mind of forward smash here. I don't think a lot of Mars would have done that. That was sick. Obviously super amazing as well. Mm -hmm. Oh, great save. Oh, but is this enough? Oh, man. Oh, it's looking pretty favorable right here for... Uh, oh, down there? Oh, good situation. Damn. Wow, slide. Keep him off stage. Yeah, he's hitting him with every move. Trying to cancel forward smash against the side B again. Yup, but he's taking too much damage. Yeah, this is such a good counter pick for Mark. Oh, that's micro spacing. Oh. So if we take a look at this whole interaction, it all comes from the stock. It all comes from Troon being really confident that Ice Climbers cannot grab him when he's on this platform, and that their maximum punish is. Maybe a smash or, or, you know, an up tilt, right? So, he really, really abuses that fact, right? So, he's super aggro here because 
he knows the platform's there for him to sit to go to, you know? After all these After all these exchanges, he knows he can go into the platform. Obviously super amazing as well. Oh, great save. Oh, but is this enough? Looking pretty favorable right here for uh, oh, so good. Downer? Oh. Good situation. Wow, Schley. Keep yeah, him off stage. Yeah, he's hitting him with every move. Trap cancel oh, forward smash good. against the side B. Actually, I'm really but he's taking curious why um oh, wow, that was why she went to the yeah. stage, struck to the stage. Wow. I'm gonna look at here is Dewan's ability to mix up the neutral, um, pretty much in wave dash, in ice climbers like wave dash move range, you know. Uh, about like half stage ish range. Um, you're gonna see him do a lot of interesting mix ups with like full jumps and stuff. So take a look at this neutral start. But I think yeah, I think that's escapable no matter what. So oh, mashes and then he yeah, smashes. Yeah, yeah. So early we see this. So. Immediate jab. So he empty jumps here, empty jumps here. And it's risky when you empty jump that close to ice climbers because you don't have a lot of time. Um, if you don't have enough time for your down tilt to come out, they can always just wave dash jab, punish your empty jump. Um, so Duan's going to be careful of that, especially if he's holding down, if he's fast following the empty jump. He's not going to have... Um, it's really hard if they have the reaction time to go from down to, to smash DI up out of jabs. So... Yeah. Oh, he's but trying he to read that jump now with the forward air. Yeah, that's actually, Dude. He's going to DI away. Oh, he's trying to read that jump now with the forward yeah, air. Yeah, that's actually, shoot. yo, shoot. MP that's jump, MP jump. Layers, <laughs> so shoot, many layers, shoot. That's crazy, man. And then Duan with a really good mix-up in the grab here. I told you, there's layers. It's really easy to get spooked as Marth, not want to hard commit to grab here. Um, but it's really so smart. I really like it. I think a lot of Mars would have gone like the little safer route and just down tilted or you know nared or something like that. But there's just those spots to where you can grab ice climbers, especially when Nana's not like um, fully synced, right? And you can get this four throw, or if Nana's in lag, right? You can you can get a four throw into a move. So and then it hits Nana. The four throw hits Nana, which is important to notice, right? So he doesn't give time Nana to like sync up to do a move, right? Boom. Four throw hits both. Dude. And then ten throw. Wow, amazing grab. Not even an attack. He's like, just in case, I'm a shield. And then does the down air wow, here to grab. mix up. Down air has actually more horizontal range, I believe, than forward air at max max range. So uh, this is good. Also gives him a little more time to drift, a little more shield stun. Um, harder for him to crouch cancel here, so then the extra layer was, oh, I know you go with shield, because he's in case, I'm a shield. And Duan here looks, and grab here is pretty safe to do in this situation. But then the extra layer was, oh, I know you go with shield. So the mix-up here is down tilt after forward air, right? Shield. But, then but he just grabs. So. extra layer was, oh, I know you go with shield, because you think I'm going to add smash. And I like that, I like that Duan, or Shroom, just pummeled him, because he was like, I'm not even going to let you. Try to save her. neutral is so good. Watch her. Watch her die. Ooh, slide. <laughs> nice. Ooh, nice. yep. He's been going low every time into air dodge. Mm -hmm. So he waited. He been could have did that. Double jump, full jump. Really good. This is really, really underrated here. He's been going low every time into air dodge. Mm -hmm. So full jump. Ice climbers have to hard commit, right? Well, they don't have to hard commit. You could just wait for him to land. To be honest, but a um, lot, lot of ice climbers just take the bait here. But Marth double jump back is actually really, really good in this in this situation. It's really good. Um, yeah. He waited. He been could have did that in the yeah. in the previous game, but yeah. you know sometimes you don't want to reveal all your tricks. Yeah. 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 Push, baby. Look, look at how many times he mixes up the neutral in this one sequence. This is what the X factor that Duan, that Shroom has over every other player, I feel, or a lot of other players, is that he's able to just, like, he's able to mix up so many different, like, looks in such a short amount of time, so. 
There he. Okay, let's run a little further. This whole sequence is really good. Double jump. Empty jump. Full jump fair. Down tilt, down tilt. Empty jump. Empty jump. Dash dance. Jump back. Dash. Down tilt, dash down tilt. Wave dash back down tilt. That's like a lot of different looks in a very short amount of time. And makes it really hard for Chu to kind of. You know, get a beat on what DeWan's doing. It's it's really really good. That poker face. That was an amazing fair by two because that's the way to stop uh, the down tilt pressure. Is oh, so he did the full jump fair here, but he got punished. That's the way to stop uh, the down tilt. Okay. Well, he went down, but he could have double jumped away. So, um, this is just one of those weird mix-ups that you can do. But Ice Climbers kind of got this weird grab that, that only Chu knows how to do for some reason. It's kind of weird. To stop, uh, the down tilt pressure. Yeah, I don't know what that grab is. <laughs> he also didn't tip her the fair, so. Ooh, two dash attacks, maybe a little too fancy there. Full jump fair, double jump back. Full jump fair, double jump back. It's beautiful. And then look at that. He's ready for the jab DI. Boom. So as soon as you get jabbed, you can't even think about it. You have to be like, I'm going to just smash the eye up a double jump away. Like, it can't be this, like, tip for tat game where you, like, crouch cancel or you try to aerial out of hit stun or something. Um, you essentially have to just full commit to just double jumping away until they show that they can punish it significantly. Um, until they show that they can punish double jump away from Marth, uh, against Marth, then there's really not a reason not to do it. Um... There's a really bad stigma, I feel, that happens when you play against certain characters that can punish double jumps, which is, to be fair, the majority of the cast in Melee um, really well. But when you play against Ice Climbers, you have to realize that they have a limitation, is that their double jump punishes aren't amazing. So you have to abuse that. Um, you'll, you'll see this in, like, other games. I think, I, see, like, I think you'll see it in, like, you know, maybe Brawl or, or even Smash Ultimate. You see people double jumping out of, like, hits done and stuff like that. Um, just basically the punish isn't that, isn't like amazing, right? So keep that in mind here. Okay, gets out of the jab grab. Right. And, actually... and then I really like what Duan does here after the fair, like even though it didn't work out after the, hold on. So tip her back here and he tries to immediately go for a grab instead of like playing it safe. I really like it. But... Decent roll by Chu. And Duan's doing this on purpose. He's doing tournament winners um, on purpose because basically if Ice Climbers cover a ledge option here, like it's really, really easy for Ice Climbers to stick out a long-lasting hitbox here. They can just do Blizzard. They can wave dash forward, double jab. Um, basically anything here is going to catch Marth's invincibility for the most part. So this tournament winner is actually a really, really smart option. Um... It just basically makes it so Ice Climbers, the punish that they have to get, they have to either hard read it or like react and up air. And she's going to do that. But keep in mind, when we talk about here, it's double jump punishes, right? Ice Climbers double jump punishes aren't going to be the end of the world. So he reads the jump there. Gets two up airs. Whoopie fucking do, right? With good DI, that does not mean shit. Look at that. <laughs> He's out. He's actually almost at slightly advantage here because he... Got a, got an actionable state before chill, so. And once again, he does uh, double aerial instead of aerial defensive option. Good job, mashing smash GI. That time he mixes it up and just does an instant aerial instead of full jumping. Fucks you up. Right there, this whole entire time, Chu was baiting Nana. He wanted Nana to get hit so we could punish. But Duan does what? Duan double jumps back, right? He doesn't hard commit here. And Duan starts his beautiful neutral up. Wave dash forward, empty jump, down tilt. Wave dash back, empty jump, down tilt. Stay in place, down tilt. 
turn around dash grab oh so good so good just the mix-up game from shroom is amazing and i was like as i think against ice climbers you really have to be in the mindset of i like to play neutral against this character like you can't be in the wrong mindset of saying um I just have to abuse my safe moves against ice climbers or I have to just like not get grabbed as ice against ice climbers. I mean, sure. That's, that's a big part of it. But the, at the same time, you have to be willing to play your own game, put some expression in your own neutral, mix it up like you would any against any other character, you know? Um, and Duan does that really well. Like he's not just playing his only down tilt, his only he's, he's adding mix ups where he, where he can, right? And he's not playing too scared. Which is really important. And let's watch that sequence again because it was actually really, really beautiful. I think it, like Nana or uh, Ice Climbers have to hard read that and commit with their double jump to punish it. Yeah, and the thing is, uh, why it's also so. Baits Nana, good, doesn't take the bait, uh, double jumps back. Can get too close to the ledge, a couple wave dashes. Okay. Because then you could just. Empty jump back. down tilt. Yeah. And he does use empty jump down tilts at an unpunishable range. Remember what I was saying about how Jab um, pun can punish empty jump? Um, at a closer range at this range he can't right so look at this distance about where he does this mp jump it's really really important right there right remember what i was saying this jab whiffs here because he does it at the at the range where uh full forward wave dash um jab will not, will whiff so the spacing is important keep that in mind and also it's also interesting to realize that like a lot of ground moves clank with Marth's ground moves. So um, Chu's not doing it now, but you can dash attack Marth's down tilt at times. Um, and yeah, so, boom. Look at Duan not overcommitting here. Notice there wasn't enough hits done for him to like comfortably follow up here, so he doesn't. Because then you could just, you know, fly. Yeah. Because you have all that range with, uh, with bear, and they don't. Look at this. Okay. Because then you could just, you know, fly. Now he tries to call out down tilt, or she tries to call out down tilt with uh, forward air. Um, doesn't quite work out there. You have all that range with, uh, with bear, and they don't want to get popped up in the air, stuff like that. But you had the read. They give you a little bit. Let's see, dude. That's a melee right there, man. Just beautiful, like, neutral. Okay. See, uh, Duan kind of went away from his game plan here. Decided to block for some reason. Um, and he could have just double jumped. You know, he was a little high percent, but you know, once again, but he just got he kind of shielded for some for some reason, which is a little. I think he wasn't expecting Chu to to come down from this specific platform or something. Or... Oh no, he just nah, he could he could have jumped out. Jump, and then you could try to retain it. Right. right. And well, then you can also side B, like. Pivot. That's also the whole thing, right? If you don't have platforms to retreat to, FG becomes a lot better, right? Momentum. So yeah, that, that makes a lot of sense with Mark. I like that he does this with full invincibility. He goes for dash tech. A lot of Marts don't do this. Um, I think you're still safe if you do the do the dash tech right away out of its ability, right? So I don't think you would have gotten grabbed there. And it's nice because it has a chance to get to shield stab. In addition, it's one of the most highest like net moves to hit with Marth because you can get a huge punish off it, right? You can get a couple up tilts off this one. Doesn't get it there, but oh wow, his bear didn't come out in time. It seems double jump back. So he knows when Chu wants him to overextend, right? He missed that fair, but he, he re immediately recognizes she was just looking for the next move to punish. She was waiting for that next move. He's waiting for a down tilt here. It's exactly what she was waiting for. But he doesn't give it to him. Secondary you know? Mark. And it's really important to recognize that. If you see... Secondary mark. Like, you have to always be looking at your opponent. Because if they're not in an actionable state, and it gets really obvious about what they're doing... Like, look at this. See, right there, right? Look, that's such an obvious. I want you to whiff something. 
at at a specific range, I, I want you to whip down tilt here. That you know it becomes really obvious because if he's stutter stepping here, he's obviously trying to microspace for something. So um, Dewan immediately recognizes that and doesn't mess with it. Full jump fair. Okay, so that's a really important interaction again. We need to talk about. Full jump fair gets punished by what? Oh, an up tilt or an up air? Whoop you fucking do. And he gets punished on the way down. So this is this is why this matchup's so good for Mark. Is that even on hit on a low percent on up air, you can still get something with Mark. You can mash forward air with the eye, and it's just really difficult for ice climbs to deal with. So immediately recognizes when Chu's out of hit stun, and doesn't overextend. Look at that again. He <laughs> gets hit with an up air and gets punished for it. Good crouch cancel. Full jump fair. Look at this. Full jump yeah, fair. Jump again, the back that time. Million options here. Do I land again with the fair? Do I jump jump back? Do I land? This is like a three way mix up here. And Chu's just looking for something to react to here. So he tries to react with wave dash forward jab because he kind of predicted empty jump. Um, but he, once again, kind of Dewan spaced himself so we can get his down tilt out in time. Really important. Look at this. Really, really important. It's not enough to land. You have to land at the right range so you can get down tilt out. If he landed anywhere closer, Jab would have beat out down tilt. And maximum delay on this forwarder, taking his time. Beautiful. And so this is something Chu's going to do a lot. Chu likes to shield against uh, Marth when when he has his back faced him. You know, there's a couple reasons for that. One is because he can cash dash back with back air, uh, with us climber back air. Um, two, if Marth sticks out a ground, um, if Marth, he's able to get a grab if Marth is able, um, like, misspaces and he has his hand over his uh, his body, right? So if Marth is slightly draped over him, he's able to get a shield grab. But if he if he dashes away, he's able to get a back air, and then Marth has bad DI. Um, now the one thing Marths don't do here is they don't shield here, right? They typically don't shield here. So Chu's counting on that. Um, he's not shielding, so he's probably going to get a back air out of this, right? Or he's going to try to go for back air. But since the fast fall was really well timed. There's not really a gap there for Chu. And he tries to back air there.
surprise people because look, uh, he's doing a lot of like, you know, just staying in field. Uh, proactive a little bit. Sorry. So my last point was basically. What's important, what what the delayed fair does from Marth is it catches Nana in wave dash lag. So if Ice Climbers are late in their wave dash at all, basically what's going to happen is Nana's going to still be in, in slide animation when she's coming forward. So the forward air will go above Popo and hit Nana. Um, I, I guess you could say, like, maybe a little bit more random. Okay. Yeah, okay. like sometimes, you know, just wave dash forward and throw out a down tilt. Yeah, yeah, because what, yeah. What, what Shroom was doing, he was doing like forward air, and then that would push him far enough away, and then he would down tilt to push them even further away, and then now the field is really low. Yeah. So, so it was pretty safe what he was nice. doing. I agree with you. Notice the lack of dash dancing here. Even further away, and then now the There's no reason to, right? You're just giving Popo room to catch like a dash. He's just slowly walking yeah, forward, so keeping the space. Safe what he was doing. I using hitboxes. Yeah. I know he's respecting the neutral game because yeah. both of these guys have an amazing neutral game. Of course. But sometimes you gotta hit him with the random factor. Because then <laughs> it's like, oh, okay. Oh, okay, okay. Good DI right trick. there. Ooh, Ooh double? Wow, what the, the heck? The fair. Okay, pretty neat. Yeah. But yeah, you know, you just want to surprise people because look, uh, he's doing a lot of like, Wow, really nice forward tilt there. So that's a good adjustment by Chu. Instead of jabbing, he forward tilts. Forward tilt has more range than jab, I think. So, um, also different timing, right? But once again, uh, the one was slightly too close to be doing that that empty jump. Yeah, just slightly too close. Right there. That's exactly what I was talking about. This delayed forward air. Look how Nana was still kind of like unable to shield here. Well, I guess she was in jab animation, but same thing kind of applies, right? Right there, the forward air goes above Popo and hits Nana. But Popo is able to crash cancel. But good adjustment by Chu on the neutral. Now he's just kind of going straight at Dewan. He's pretty much just calling out Dewan for empty jumping now, which is good. Oh, the taunt! Nana, what are you doing? Nana, what are you doing? Oh, no. Oh, no, okay. Okay, we got the peek. Look at that. Chu calling out Dewan for empty jumping now. So he really, really needs to uh, mix it up now. Oh, how do you get the hit on Nana? Oh wow! Oh, no. oh, no. Destroy Nana. That back air, boom. Oh my gosh! Of course, mentioned him the right way. Good nair here. This nair is super safe. It's one of the safest things you can do. If it's fast walled well, and you have enough drift, really good. Full jump fair, really nice. Oh, look at this mix up. Ampy jump. Just grab. That's gross, dude. What do you do against that? <laughs> That's so good. And then the forward throw hits Nana. Good mash. I like how aggressive Dwan's being because like he knows that he can mash out at this percent. Once again, tournament winner from the edge. duan has been doing that a lot. Full jump fair, drift back. Oh. This is really hard for us to deal with right here. Jump in their face. Double jump back. Double jump back. Beautiful. Mix up game. Only needs one fair to hit. And keep in mind, during all this time, you're just Ice Climber shields are slowly depleting, right? Every time he has to block a down tilt, every time Dewan doesn't commit, Ice Climbers or shield is just going down, right? And sooner or later, they're not going to be able to block. 
to get what they did. He's so ready. He's so ready. Look at this. Look at that. He's so ready at 40%. He's mashing jump. That's what you do. That's what. Oh, delay forwarder. So look, this is going to hit Nana. Yeah, delayed forward here once again, going over Popo, hitting Nana. And just all of a sudden, I'm just gonna grab you now. Boom. So right there, that's a situation I was expecting to see a little more of is that clank um, and to grab, right? Tree's really good at that, but he hasn't been able to get a clean clank off jab or anything like that yet. So that's the first one that happened. He went for a grab. Pretty obvious. Dewan sees it coming. Just four airs. And he represents side B. Good, 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 good. Okay, he didn't block here this time, which is good. He just full jumped, right? Which is totally fine. Because if they hit you, great. But if they don't, um, you're pretty much out of situation. Yeah. Okay, no, yeah, And once again, the dash attack when you have full invincibility is actually pretty safe. It's going to shield stab and it's going to get a huge punish. Let's see this again. The full jump fair, you get surprisingly good follow-ups off it because depending on what Nana DI is, you can either full, you can either Fair again, you can. Uh, I've, what I've seen the moon do, I've seen him up B Nana out of full jump fair. So, and then Nana has terrible DI for whatever reason after that. So, um, there's so many, there's like a lot of different combo potential off the full jump fair. Empty jump, late fair, empty jump, late fair mix up, right? That's the mix up for Marth um, in neutral. The one's neutral, which is insane. Late fair doesn't. A lot of people would down tilt right away after this fair, right? But he doesn't. Just shields. Just still, he's able to get space going forward. What a clinic, dude. This is so good. <sighs> so clean. Let's take a look at what he does with the visibility this time. He should be full jumping, right? Okay, he gets caught. But he's ready to mash. He's got a lead, right? He can be a lot more select about when he goes in. That was sick out there. You'll notice very rarely that Dewan does aerial or empty jump into defensive option, right? That's what ice cover players do. They prey on bad defense. They prey on panic options. That's not, and that's not what Dewan's given him. He realizes how much time you have. You have a lot of time not to get grabbed by ice climbers. But you gotta be able to be comfortable in that pocket. Um, 
like right there. That pocket right there is just really important because you have to either... So if the, you do get punished in neutral, you have to be ready, right? And usually Dewan's ready with the double jump smash DI up, you know? But he got caught there. But that was the first, like, clean jab grab he's gotten pretty much this entire set. Right there, right? So I think she tries to call out double jump, right? Right here. Which he, you know, kind of does, even though Dwan doesn't double jump. But what the pun what's this punish? You get punished as Ice Climbers for going for this. Tournament winner again. Beautiful. Very unexplored option with Marth, for sure. Rising full jump fair here. So good. This is such a clean game, dude. Yeah, I uh, just want to show this. This is the danger of down tilting a lot in neutral. I think I said it before, but you don't you don't have your... You're not ready to smash GI um, jabs, right? So uh, you can crouch cancel down tilt jabs with ice climbers, but it's it's not as consistent as you think. So like you try to see like right there. Ice climbers grab is like really good. So... And just pretty much the whole theme of the set is Dewan's not giving a lot of room to, to chew. He's not wave dashing, or he's not dash dancing a lot, right? He's making sure he's controlled and center. He's not dash dancing when he doesn't have to. He's probably, probably not even dash dancing. And when he does dash back, he's looking for like a grab, right? Uh, yeah, basically the point is, is that if you empty jump in the right ranges... And you mix it up a decent amount, then you're pretty safe as Martha in this entire matchup. Um, yeah, what's up, Umar? Um, you know, up throw versus ice climbers is good, but think about this though: if you can forward throw and hit both ice climbers, why not do that? Um, and then you got a free tipper. So he was abusing that. I do like up throw. Don't get me wrong, but I think, I think. Forward throw has a better hitbox. Um, you know, I mean, if you can guarantee guarantee the forward throw to hit Nana, I think that might be even better. Because, like, obviously, because I don't know. I feel like forward throw no pummel really fast is really, really good. But up throw is obviously better um, if you just want to, like, do this clear split up. Hello.